What's up my beautiful people, how are you doing? Well guys, uh, today I'm in these uh, beautiful streets of Kisumu. So uh, I, uh, I arrived here at around 5 p.m. And uh, right now is, uh, I think, according to my watch. Let me check. So, according to my watch, it is uh, 6, 6.52. 57 sorry so uh, I decided today I'm not going to walk around uh, this place uh, to show you around because you know I was traveling from Mombasa and it's a, it's a long distance so I decided today is a resting day and uh, I'm not going to do uh, any video today but uh, here I am I decided to just check the camera and uh, show you around uh, some of the streets that are that I'm in. Uh, right now I'm going to look for food and uh, just to show you guys around. So uh, I decided that uh, during my stay here in Kisumu, uh, I'm here for about a week. So I decided I'll be doing daily vlogs just to show you uh, some of the places that I'll be visiting and some of the things you can actually do while in Kisumu. So right now I'm in this uh, street of Lolwe. So Lolwe is right behind me. And uh, right towards this side, this is the road that is taking you to, to town, the CBD. So there's this place I used to uh, eat uh, when I was uh, living here in Kisumu. So that is the place I want to take you guys. It's a busy street. It's uh, right behind uh, the United Mall. So that is where I'm going to take you. So uh, it's a long distance. I can't walk all the way to that place. So I'll have to either board uh, one of the public means that uh, that uh, takes people from here to town. So there's one over here. You can see how uh, pink they are. So there's one beautiful club over here so I'm alone in the van so you can see how big this map this uh, public means they are so, so this is the route that is uh, going all the way to Kenya Re. So that is where my 50 shillings end. So 50 shillings is roughly about uh, uh, 0 0.38 dollars. So that is that was the end of the road. So I passed my stop deliberately just for me to show you uh, this stage. So this is, this is the stage where when you want to uh, board your bus to any part of uh, the country, you will find them out here. This is the bus stage. So right over here, these are just uh, vehicles taking people to the residential areas. And uh, it's amazing that I have gotten to see this school over here. This was my uh, my high school when I was in Kisumu. So that's my school. This is a bus stage taking people to uh, their estates. And that is this stage to most parts of the country, be it Kamega, be it uh, Nairobi, Mombasa, we get them out there. So, this is it. So, all this one is going to be one of those is called Mamata. You can see, this is uh, the time is uh, it's 7.10. 
and you can see how uh, the busy the, the, the streets are lively. So that is one of the ways I can use to to pay people to the place I'm showing and I'm taking I'm taking you. But uh, I'm not going to use that fight, so I'm going this way. There's a certain mall over there that I just wanted to show you quickly before I cross over. Okay. Yeah, that's the mall. 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 There's some boys over the other side, some girls over this other side. That's the fence, that's the parrots, the two schools. So you can see how busy these streets are. Even crossing the road is a bit... It's a bit difficult and there are no flyovers over this side, so you have to be quick when you're crossing the road. So Naiva supermarket is over here. This is one of the the major shopping centers around the country. So this is one of them, this is the neighbor's supermarket. It has a, its own uh, building of uh, this other side. Let me just show you this way. I'm not going to use that way. I'll just show you quickly. That is the market. You can see it has a, the whole, the whole building is just for neighbor. The whole parking area is just for neighbor. So it's a big place. You can just come pick up your car and whatever you want. With groceries, electronics, right over there. So uh, I'm going to this uh, other mall uh, just to pass through to the other side. So you can see there are also other people still uh, selling their things over by the roadside. It's closing. Smokies and eggs. Right over here, there are a lot of uh, motorbikes and tuk tuks just to help people in uh, moving away from the big mall. So, right around the right over here. This is one of the biggest malls we find in this place. Uh, this mall actually has uh, several restaurants, several banks over here. There are, there's even a club, there's Java KFC, so there are just a lot of things. If, if you want to cut your hair, this is the place. So you can see, very lively, there are a lot of people over here. This is one place you can never fail to visit. Because it also has a shopping mall over there. And it is very good. So this is the Java. Right over there, that is the Java. parking area for all this place it's quite big but you have to pay something for you to park over here I think 30 minutes free and then you start being charged uh, from there so this is one of the Japanese stalls Miniso it sells a couple of things so I'm not going to go through that place I'm going to use the auto side because I believe they won't let me vlog inside the the mall so it's drizzling so 
I have to walk a bit quick. So guys, uh, Kisumu is a beautiful place. It's uh, quite calm. People here are nice. You know, this is a place where uh, I grew up and uh, I know all the streets uh, very well. But uh, the only thing that I've realized about Kisumu, Kisumu is a fast growing town, city, sorry. And uh, there are several things that I didn't leave. And uh, right now, if you see them, they are quite beautiful. The place is developed. So you can see how the zoom is always busy, regardless of the time. So I'm going straight ahead. You see a lot of people by the roadside, as you can see this is one of the Estates in Kisumu, so this is a king going. This is a Lumumba road, yeah, exactly. So I'm going to this Lumumba road. So I don't know you know, the streets. So that is a Buddha border. I didn't know how Buddha border still operates up to now. So those are those are bicycles. So if you want to go somewhere, you just pay the guy some coins, then uh, he'll just ride you around town. There are so many over here. This, I think, is the only town we still have. Uh, the border borders so you they cushion they make some cushion and put in the where carrier so if you want to want them to carry you that is where they carry you so it's not a job for the week because you know you have to ride the heavy people a long time Okay, this is the place. Yes, so this is the place. But nobody, I think they have to. Napata viazi. Ah, ilisha. Kabisa, kitu. My bad. There's no food at all, so I have to look for another place. Yeah, so we have to try some of the main modes of transport in this place. So this is a border border. So this is a border border. So this is a border border. So this So it's the one going to take us to where we are going to eat. So this is how it's been done. So this is 
ride is going to cost us 50 shillings so try and promote these guys when you visit this place try and promote them So this is Jumia Hotel. This is one place I used to come to swim. You pay a little fee, maybe 200 shillings. That is one, one and a half a dollar. You come and just swim. You make sure you just eat something then go back home. It was a fun thing to do back then. Because, uh, you know, there are not many places you can uh, find a place to swim. So this is one of the nice places we used to come. So maybe if you want a place to swim, you can try them out. This is the neighbors I was telling about. They can see there's a bus that has uh, taken a spot over there. This is one of the supermarkets you'll find in this place called Ketias. Buses that are going to Mombasa. <laughs> this is one of the places you see even women selling even at night. So the time right now is uh, 7:30 p.m. and uh, right over there you saw there are women selling selling fruits by the roadside. This is uh, now the Kisumu town state. So I'll show you some of the mothers who are working up to late just to provide for their families. So not only mothers but also even the motorbike guys are still on duty. Guys are here are on duty just looking for them. This is the police sector that we are trying to create order in this town. This one is just a cheap place. I want to come and check out. So uh, guys, this is me on top of a bicycle, so you can see. This is one of the common means of transport in this side of, uh, of town. I think it's the only town in Kenya that uh, still has border borders up to now. So this is the uh, roundabout, the main roundabout. If you're coming to Kisuma, I don't think you'll fail to find yourself in this roundabout. So this is the way to Nairobi. The dollar, dollar round about. So that is dollar. So we're just going around town. They look for a place to eat. 
So these are some of the mothers where you can see they are busy even till late at night because looking for food for all their families. So there is another uh, supermarket. Right over here, this is another Naivas, Naivas supermarket. You can just see how the town is busy. So this is another supermarket. And uh, the iconic This is a CBD. You can see there are a lot of uh, things happening in this CBD. That is the bank over there. So some of the banks are over there. The street is pretty really neat. Very organized. And you can see the vision plant is there. You can see the outside so you can see just a beautiful city. I'll uh, make sure I do this place. Uh, during the day, it's not easy to see how uh, things are busy on a uh, normal weekday. So this is uh, Saturday. This is Saturday night. So I'm just going to uh, show you roughly around the town. Very big in. So down there, they is just going to This is another another street, another street. So people are still uh, busy in the offices, shops. There's another supermarket right in the center of the CPD. Peleke kakwacha. Siko hapo mbele. Kwa chini. Kwa chini. So this this is the down downtown side. So most of the shops here I think are normally closed pretty early. So they are mo mostly owned by the Indians who uh, who who actually operate the shops so they actually do close their shops down at Tanzania 6 so you can just see how this side of the town is dead so they close their shops there are city dogs over here as well so this part of town is uh, quiet during the night it's a tag, but you know, I'm not a loss. Of all, um, oh, we are lost. A tag loss of one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so that was the, that is the whole chance that I have uh, just had to sort myself. So I ate fish. <laughs> you know, fish is uh, the most common food in this uh, this side of the uh, town. So. I ate fish and I feel like I'm uh, accepted in the in the area. So right now I'm going to look for some water and uh, some chewing gum. So I'll go to one of the supermarkets here in uh, in town. So probably neighbors. Yeah. So. Yeah, so yes guys, I'm gonna have to end my video right over here. So uh, kindly, like we always say, subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell so you get notified. Uh, and uh, I'll try and post uh, a video daily uh, when I'm uh, on my stay in Kisumu. So let's make sure you check, uh, check this channel out every day. And share this video to a lot of people as you can. So without any further ado guys, let me end this video right over here. So, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.